I'm with Rob Gorman here from Ward High Tech. We're standing in front of a Huachon Vesta uh, three-axis machining centre. In fact, we're here over at the Huachon European headquarters. All of these machines that you uh, hear about today can be purchased through Ward High Tech in the UK. Rob, I'm specifically interested in this machine because of its, uh, its position in the marketplace. Wh wh where does it fit? Who buys these? Uh, companies who are cutting uh, hard, to, hard to cut materials such as uh, Inconel, Titanium, because this is a uh, heavy duty uh, three axis machine. It's a full box guideway machine, yeah. isn't it? But it's got some incredible uh, power statistics. Could you tell us what, about those? Yeah, well, this particular machine's got a 25 horsepower spindle motor with 300 newton meters uh, continuous torque. But if you were to uh, have the machine with a high denying control, Siemens motors, we can double that torque to about 600 newton meters. And, and how would that compare to, um, let's let's call it the, a run of the mill machining centre available in the market? Uh, well, a, a run of the mill linear guide machine, you've probably got four times as much torque on, on, on this particular machine. And, and when we're talking those significant uh, levels of torque, uh, we're talking a lower spindle speed as well? Yeah, so this one's a 6,000 RPM geared spindle. So you know the advantage of a geared spindle is you've got you know you've got full power at bottom rev as well and how does the gearing work on a machine like that for or, on this for those that don't really understand how how the gears work it, just with the geared the geared spindle just offers so you, you know well, is it an automatic it's, feature it's just, it's just an automatic feature so if you're running the spindle at three four five hundred revs you've still you, you've still got high power high torque whereas with a direct drive spindle you'd need to be running at higher revs what about the actual machine, um, the, the models that are available in the Vesta range? Is, this is it just a one machine like we have here, the 1050, or is there no, others? There's a, there's a 1050, there's a smaller machine, 600, there's the 1300 uh, larger machine. And like I said, they're, they're available in with the linear guide or, or boxway, B being the boxway machine. And are they B, they're BT50? This is a BT50, yeah, but they're also available with a BT40 spindle as well, which would be an 8,000 RPM spindle on this particular machine. So for Ward High Tech, it, it fits quite nicely into your range of products that you offer, doesn't it? Because you've got high-speed machining centres, uh, and now what you've got here is something that really fits in at the, the, the powerful, uh, heavy or hard-to-machine material area. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's correct, yeah. How about the weight then? If you're talking about tackling a more difficult and heavier parts, what, what can you get on the table to machine? Well, on this particular machine, you can get up to a tonne a ton on the table. Let's like say it's a strong, well-built, rigid machine. Uh, the weigh, weighs in the region of about seven and a half ton itself. This machine. Uh, and you've also got quite a big y-axis on here as well. Sometimes we see meter machines; they've got small, smaller y-axis than what you have here. Yeah, well, this one's a 600 millimeters in y, uh, also 600 in z, and with, with the name the 1050, that's the uh, the x-axis. And I noticed the application that we see on the table is a, is a perfect example, isn't it, of, of what you can actually do on here. I believe some of those uh, cuts have, have been pretty much one hit. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's correct, yeah. Uh, let's summarise then, Rob. Who, who, who uh, as a Ward High Tech customer, would be interested in this uh, particular model? Uh, companies who are generally doing heavy heavy cutting, like I said before, uh, difficult to cut uh, materials, inconel, titanium, you know, really big, big, heavy rough cutting as well. You know, it's... it's uh, that's what it does lend itself to.